Hi friends, it's Star Thrifter and I got a thrift haul to share with you today. But real quickly, I was wondering how it's going with your account with the first class moving over to Ground Advantage. I did post a video in regards to how to bulk edit. However, I want to update something about that. I was leery about doing it because I have a lot of things that go, um, you know, priority. And if you change and edit all of them, is it going to drop the priority because you're changing it all to ground advantage? I only, you know, did a few that were, you know, for sure first class. But I have noticed that it looks like all of the listings are updating themselves. However, on their own, eBay updated it. The eBay did state that they were giving a 30-day grace period. Now, whether that will continue on or if those will stay updated, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I do know one thing. I end and sell similar items that are getting ready to end. And I noticed that the ones that I've ended since the changeover, you know, to from the first class to ground advantage, that when I go to relist them, they're not updated. Even though they were up there on they were up there and already, you know, ground advantage or whatever, when AB did like the changeover boat, at, when I ended it and get ready to sell similar, it's showing first class. Watch for that. Anyhow, we'll get on with the haul. If you like, you can subscribe. I got a lot of videos up. And if you want to check, you know, that video up. I was a little leery on picking this up because I pick up very few pieces of Ann Taylor or Ann Taylor Loft. But this is an Ann Taylor Loft I really try to stay away from. I have picked up a few, and even though they're new with tags, they're hard to move. But I thought this was very nice. It's new with tags, a size 12, and it's a skirt. I know, skirts are hard to move, but with it being brand new. And um, that one... Um, I paid like $2.99 for it. I don't know. That might not have been the best choice. Now, here's an example. This is the loft. It was brand new with tags. I did take a chance to buy it because it was only a dollar. We until the tag sales went to a dollar. And it was originally $59.97. And another reason I did kind of like this because it almost kind of has like a drop shoulder. And for a while there, those were kind of popular. However, it's not oversized. Hopefully that will, you know... So, all right. <laughs> um, this is a pair of Torrid, and they're 18 regular, and I bought these for $2.99. They're very nice shape, and they're, um, oh, they are zip. They're not a pull-on, but they're really dark. You know, they're not faded or anything like that. And some Torrid pieces can, you know, sell pretty nicely. However, it doesn't sell for a lot of money. You got to, you know, watch, you know, what pieces you pick up. That's kind of heavy. It's going to have to go priority. The only reason I picked up this sweater is because it's linen or a linen blend, and it's Victoria's Secret. This is the only reason, because Victoria's Secret's really hit or miss, but this is a very nice sweater, very thin. It's really nice, and that's the only reason I picked it up. I think it's, um, it might be all linen. It's... No, it is a linen blend, but it's very nice. Hopefully that will sell. This is another, starting to pick up sweaters now. It's July. Um, Land's End, and I bought a few of these. I don't pick up hardly any Land's End, but this was brand new with tags. I went ahead and got it because I got it for a dollar. Well, new with tags, but it doesn't have the price tag, but it's got this on it. And Carnegie Sell, hopefully that will sell. And they were a size large. And I, and I got a few of them. I think there was at least, there's more than two. This might be another one. Yeah, here's another one. And this is kind of like a more of a neutral color, which will be nice. But, you know, Land's End. And uh, with Carnegie's, I find Carnegie's sell. And they sell kind of year-round a little bit, too. If you think about it, people that, you know, go out to dinner and there's air conditioning or offices and things like that. This is a nice piece. It's a Talbot's. It's a Petite 4, but it's brand new with tags. It doesn't have how much it was brand new. I got it for a dollar. It's beautiful. A black dress. It's got like all this ruffle like kind of detail. I don't know what the comps are. I do know that um, Talbot's brand new doesn't sell for a ton of money. I mean, you know, it's, you're not going to probably get that close to the uh, manufacturer retail suggested price. But it'll still be nice. And I only paid a dollar. It was a great buy. 
this, the only reason I picked this up is because I thought it was kind of neat in boho. Um, it's American Eagle, but it is new with tags. It was $49.97. I kid you not, probably be fortunate to get, um, probably, you know, maybe 20, 25 out of it, even though it retailed for that much, but isn't that cute? It's real like boho, you know, and it's American Eagle. Cause that brand, I have a hard time. Uh, it seems like pushing very much of that. However, it could be because, you know, it's not super expensive and it, the, the market's probably kind of oversaturated. I picked this J. Crew blazer up only because I did hear at one time that some of the J. Crew blazers can sell. And I know blazers are not an easy item to move either, but this is a wool blend. And I think it's, I don't know, I'll have to double check. It's kind of like a, I think it might be brown. <laughs> it's kind of hard, hard to tell. But, and this is an older one too. It's not real new, I don't think. Didn't it have a year on it? Oh, I guess it doesn't have the year on it. You know, a lot of times they have. J. Crew has the year. It is a dry clean only. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I don't know if I realized this. This is new with tags too. Oh, score! And I got that for a dollar. Oh, that's a great, great hit. <laughs> great pickup. This is. It's a Talbot's Irish linen dress, size twelve. I need to get this listed right away. Very nice. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it's a midi or not. I'll have to do some measuring on that. But I think it is 100% linen. Yes, it is 100% linen. Now, I did have a little bit of, like, it looks like maybe makeup along here. I think once it gets washed, hopefully that will come off. Uh, but that's a really nice piece. But I need to get it listed right away. Get that cleaned up and listed. This is... Looks like plus size. Oh, no, it's a size 12. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren, but it's a maxi dress. And some Lauren Ralph Lauren dresses can sell pretty nicely. I, I don't know if I've ever had a maxi. And this one, um, that last dress and this dress, I got like a half off. They were like, um, well, it was $9.79 and got half off on it. But this is a nice piece. I've been trying to pick up some things that sell quicker and have a... Um, you know, sell for a little bit more, and I've been paying up for some of the stuff instead of buying just the dollar things. This is a two-piece outfit. Really cute. Pink Talbot's 1X. And Barbie core is kind of, you know, trending, supposedly. And this is a... And they're like... um, um, They're like a velour, you know, velvet or velour. It's hard to tell, isn't it, between velvet and velour sometimes? <laughs> I think this is a velour outfit. But look, it's got the jacket and the pants. I went ahead and um, I think I paid half for that. That was a different price. Um, this is super, super soft. And this is the only reason I mostly picked this up. However, Carnegie's and some of that off brands, you know, that aren't really popular in the plus size does sell. This is a, a 3X. This is, um, I think, what they would call like the eyelash. It's incredibly soft, but it's just an attention. And I think that that will sell because it's a very nice piece. And it's super soft. But like I said, I kind of took a chance on that. This is a really pretty dress. It's embroidered. And this... Oh, this was taking a chance too. This is a Vince Camuto. However, it is a size 12. That's a little bit bigger. But look at how pretty this is. It's got a lot of detail. Normally this brand, though, I don't pick up that much. Oh, this is new with tags. I don't know. I must have noticed that in the store because other yeah, that must have been another reason I picked it up. It's brand new with tags, and I think I think I probably paid half for that. And I think there was one or two more pieces here. <clears throat> Lululemon, and it's just a very very thin T-shirt. Now you know Lululemon has really went down. Um, you know as far as you know how quick they sell them for how much, but. Um, especially like the tank tops and the short sleeves, but some of the other pieces still sell. If you find the Lululemon um, leggings, if you find the dance pants, those sell really quickly, 40, you know, around 40, 50 maybe. This one I got to look up. That one I don't know the brand. That was one of the brands. I think this one is two. There's two of them that I haven't looked up, and um, yeah, I'll just hold off on them. But any 
well, this was Carla D. Angeli. I don't know. I did look these up, I think, but I didn't end up, um, I don't remember now. It was a few days ago. And this one was called, what happened here? It got tangled up. How did that, I don't know. Iona Carobella. I don't know. That's a really hard one. But anyways, I got to uh, check those out. But that completes the haul for today. And um, like I said, um, if you'd like, you could subscribe and then um, subscribe. And then if you got any benefit from this video, if you could push the thumbs up button, I greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.